Welcome to First This, a short mindfulness practice and message for any time. I'm Catherine Nikolai. Let's spend some time together. You can sit or lie down or extend your legs up a wall or be in any shape that feels good to you. And feel free to pause me while you get there. Now, let's draw a deep breath in through the nose and let it out with a sigh. Again, expand your lungs in every direction and out. Good. Now touch your lips together and let your natural breath flow just through your nostrils. For the next minute or so, practice just returning your attention to the feeling of breathing whenever it wanders. Start again if you need to. I have another Zen story for you today. So just keep gentle attention on your breath while I tell it to you. It starts like so many Zen stories do. Two monks are walking through the woods. And they come to the edge of a river where a woman is standing and she tells them that she doesn't know how to swim and needs help to cross. So one of the monks stoops and picks her up and carries her across and sets her down on the other side, and the monks continue on their way home. Hours later, they arrive and prepare for bed, And one of the monks says what he's been thinking for a very long time to the other. He says, That woman, why did you pick her up? We're not supposed to touch women. Why did you do that? And the other monk says, I set her down by the river, brother. Are you still carrying her? It's a story about holding on to things long after they're gone. Long after they're done. Still aware of your breath. Feel the cool touch of your inhale 
slightly warmer touch of your exhale. Now this might be an ideal moment to notice what you're carrying and if you'd like to set it down. And you probably won't have to look hard. Just shine a little light into your corners and see what you become aware of. What's the mechanism for setting something down? How do you let it go? Try letting the feeling of it be fully welcome in your body. Don't push it away. And then just keep steadily, calmly observing your natural breath. It's disarming. If a thought, a memory used to dredge up a particular emotion or sensation, and it no longer does, you no longer react, it loses its power over you. It's so much less sticky, easier to set down. And if you didn't clear all the weight off your shoulders, that's okay. Sometimes you'd very much like to let something go. You'd love to set it down. You release your grip. And it doesn't go. Emotions have their own half-life. So maybe instead of saying, let it go, we should say, let it be. Let it be there. Starved of your reaction, it will fade and eventually dissipate. Now roll your shoulders back a time or two. Blink your eyes open and notice a few details about your surroundings. This just grounds you back in the rest of the world. We'll take another big breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Once more, all the way in and out. Good.
If you're still here and you'd like to learn more about what I do, please go to nothingmuchhappens.com. If you take a moment to rate and review the show, it helps us spread it to more people. So thanks.